percent word problems. How do you feel about them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Well, my name is Coach Anderson, and I'm here to I'm here to help you get better at word problems. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna tackle this. I'm gonna show you a nice and easy way to actually understand how to do this. And basically, if you know how to do percents, even if you know how to do it the straightforward way, I'm gonna show you when some shortcuts can apply to make your life so much easier. So I'm gonna do that in this video, and I'm gonna do that in every single video that I post in my program. So if you haven't had the chance to try my full program out, it's the number one in the nation, it's free to try for a full week, no credit card required. We're that confident that it's gonna help you succeed. So if you're interested in that, at the end of the video, first watch this, but at the end of the video, go ahead and use that QR code right there, or that link, or just wait to the end again, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to sign up. It's no hassle, it'll show you exactly how to ace the ads web, and I know you'll like it. So let's go ahead and show the, you know, I'm gonna show you the work here. Step number one in every single word problem, if you've seen one of my YouTube videos before, the first thing you do is read the question sentence. Go straight to what you want. So this is not here for no reason. Let me zoom in on that. What do you want? What do you have? What's the connection? Those are the three steps to word problem success. So let's make sure we are following this to a T. Step one, what is it that we want? So it says, how much did Karen pay at checkout? Cool, sounds good. So let's go ahead and figure this out for Karen here before she starts yelling at us. So how much did Karen pay at checkout? We can just say Karen paid blank dollars at checkout. Again, you don't have to write that out every single time, but if you're first, you know, if you're still refreshing on word problems or learning them the right way, write that down while you practice. And then eventually, hey, you don't need to write it. You're good. I'm writing it down for you. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. So we wanna know how much Karen paid at checkout. So obviously something must have happened with the item or items that she's looking for. Maybe she got a discount, maybe she got some tax supply, maybe both. Let's take it in all at once here. So here, step two, what do we have? So the information that I have available is saying, hey, Karen took a printer listed at $76 to the checkout counter where she applied a 10% discount. Okay, great. So I'm gonna write that down here. So the printer was listed at 76 and then at checkout, we applied a 10% discount. So here's essentially what's going on. We are looking at the printer and the printer is $76. And then if it's a discount of 10%, we can say minus 10%, minus 10%. So whatever 10% taken away from 76 is, that's gonna be the answer. So let's go ahead and understand the straightforward way on how to do this. And then I'm gonna show you the very quick way on how to do this. So remember that when it comes to taxes or discounts, you always, always, always wanna start from 100%. Why? Remember, percents, the original is always represented by 100%, okay? The original is always represented by 100. So that's 76 bucks that the printer originally costs, that's 100% of its original cost. And so if we're applying a 10% discount, we can say that we are taking 100 minus 10%. We are paying, we are paying what this is. That is 90% of the original. Again, that's the straightforward way to look at it. There is another way that I'm gonna show you in a moment, so please stay tuned. This is gonna be really, really, really important for you, but let me show you this way and then the other way. So here, you're paying 90% of the original. Okay, cool. And what we'll do is understand that the original again is the $76. So essentially what we're doing is 90% of 76. We can perform the math on that and that'll give us the final answer right away. Again, stay tuned, let me show you both ways here. But let me just present what the actual answer is, and then I'm gonna show you why that shortcut makes things a lot easier. So, 90% of 76, I'll do this right over here. 90% turns into one, two, boom, 0 0.9 times 76. Great, so we have 76 times 0 0.9. And so making it this far in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. 
And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So if you want to learn more about my program where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that'll help you succeed with step-by-step -step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face. Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. Six times nine, that's gonna give us 54. Seven times nine, that's gonna give us 63. Carry the five is 68. And so we move that decimal place back, and so that's gonna be $68.40. Again, stay tuned. Stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you a much faster way to do this. So there's our answer. That's the correct answer, but let me show you again a quicker way to do this. Since we know we're taking away 10%, we can actually just start off by finding what 10% is of 76 and then going ahead and subtracting it. Those are two ways. One, you can start by applying the percentage to 100 and then finding the final answer, or you can just apply the percent that you have right away, and if it's a discount, subtract it. If it's a tax, add it. Watch this. 10%? What's 10% of 76? Remember that the shortcut is, well, hey, how do you go from 100% down to 10%? That's dividing by 10. That's the same exact thing. So 76 divided by 10, so 10%, equals 7.6. Again, 76 right here divided by 10 is 7.6. So, boom. That's what 10% is, $7.60. So now all I got to do is just take $76.00 and subtract $7.60. That's it. And if you wanna do this with mental math, it's actually pretty easy. You can do it mentally by subtracting seven first. So 76 minus seven, that's gonna be 69. Then $69 minus 60 cents, it's gonna be 68.40. With some mental math, again, that makes things a lot easier. 68.40 and boom, you're good. If you got $7.60 as your answer, that is incorrect because that is the amount of the discount, not what Karen paid at checkout. So be very careful. Understand what you're looking for so you don't get tricked into thinking that what the first thing that you calculated is, is the answer. Not gonna be the case. So there it is, my party people. That's how we can get to the answer in multiple ways. Hopefully you see the, the use of that second way. That way you can do it a lot faster. So before you pay any huge amount of dollars or money to anybody claiming that they can help you pass the ASVAB, you should always consider what they offer for free. With us, we're going to be offering our full program for free for a full week. All you got to do is do that right there or scan that QR code and you'll get access to all of our classes, practice problems, courses, everything for a full week so you know exactly how it works and you have the exact confidence that you need to raise your score. Get started now. I'll see you in there.